I, I remember you asking Joe Woods and pretty much everybody about the men, about the identity of this team, and it seems like you know they were able to come out and be aggressive against the Ravens on that Sunday night game. Do you think that you're seeing kind of a turn with this defense, especially? And do you think that they're going to be able to keep up that aggressiveness when it comes to the blitzing that we saw on Sunday night as well? Optimistically, I think that's the hope, right? <laughs> right. My one hang up, and it's very, very small, is that we're not too far removed from that Patriots game when they gave up 45 points. Obviously, then you have Miles Garrett coming out and saying we couldn't make adjustments. You have John Johnson the third coming out and saying it seemed like the Patriots just threw everything at us, some of these reverses and things like that, that we've struggled with all year. It's like they watched the film and planned around all of that, which obviously is what good teams do and good offensive coordinators. And obviously Josh McDaniels for New England is that. Uh, so my one, one hang up, the one thing I'm worried about is if we see a larger sample size of good teams, if they are able to kind of replicate what the New England Patriots and Josh McDaniels did against this defense, and if they're able to do it with the same success. Now, obviously, in an ideal world, you hope that served as a learning point, as a turning point, and that they can move on from that. But obviously, the Lions, I think, tried to replicate that. They weren't able to do so effectively, and then you play the Ravens. Uh, Lamar is a different animal entirely. Uh, he had an off game on top of that. So I just am really curious as we go down the stretch of this season – how that team is going to respond from that Patriots game and how well other teams maybe try to utilize some of the things that New England showed this defense really struggles with this year. The other thing that I, I wanted to ask you about here as well when it comes to the defense is it really seems like once you get JOK fully healthy, Jeremiah Utsu koromoa get him full, full speed, full send at that point, you know, I look at the way that he's played, and it seems like he really makes that defense go at that point as a, center, as a centerpiece, excuse me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think JOK has shown early in his rookie year, even though it's been kind of like what we were talking about with Donovan Peoples-Jones, a little bit stop and start. I really think you see that growth from him. I really think he just gets it. He plays so fast. Uh, I know my colleague Doug Maurice has a joke like, can he play offense too? Like, <laughs> you want JOK out on the field, regardless of what he's doing. But really, I mean, I think this is a guy with all pro potential here. I mean, overall, just a really, really bright spot. It's sort of amazing that he fell in the draft to when he did and the Browns were able to still scoop him up because that's a guy that could have gone in the first round based on the production we've seen so far. Oh, absolutely. If I'm Andrew Barry, I'm sending them a Christmas card, absolutely, and making sure that they get a nice Christmas present this year. 